Hey guys, Skull here, and today we are back playing some Feed the Beats to Horizons Daybreaker. Now, this mod pack, what well, this series in general has been requested by a few people, um, and it's a new pack that just came on the FTB launcher, I think, Friday, and the date is Monday. So, let's go ahead and start a world here. Now, we're going to call it YouTube World, because why not? Uh, we're going to go with... Realistic Alpha. I already played with this a little bit, and this is a really nice generation. I really do like this generation. We're going to generate structures. We're going to allow cheats in case I want to turn off weather or whatever. And, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and create a new world. Now, this is a pack that you can get on the FTB launcher. It is in the main pack tab, the, the ones that FTB created. Um, this pack is a pack mainly based around mods that aren't as popular or people don't or it's in main packs but people don't play with it and this thing in, includes some really nice mods that make you it tailor, it basically makes you get out of your comfort zone so and this is a very optimized pack by the way um i i, I just installed optifine um a few days well a few days ago like i said i've already played this a little bit but even before optifine i could run 32 chunk render distance and i run it better than i do in vanilla which is weird and it's just really, really nice. So, I mean, I'll probably have to turn my render distance down after a little bit because, um, you know, 32 chunk render distance can be a little bit laggy. Uh, it could be the world generation that makes it a lot easier. It's, it's a really, really nice mod. It's the realistic alpha mod. And the reason why it's taking so long because I probably do have my 32 chunk render distance still turned up. So it's taking forever to generate some chunks. Which, I mean, it's no big deal. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, I know some things that are definitely in here. Some RF generation mods. There's no thermal expansion. There's no uh, your traditional IC2. Enderio is not in here. It's just new mods or mods I haven't been played with. Uh, for example, Sanguomancy, which is an add-on to Blood Magic. A lot of people don't mess with. Um, Decocraft, some people mess with. Not many. Uh, mechanisms in here. This, I think it's the first mod pack that I've seen Mechanism in. And whoa, we're getting some major... There we go. Um, let's go ahead and throw these guys in here. And we also have Galacticraft, as you guys can see. Um, I think that's Galacticraft. Let's go ahead and turn down our render distance for right now. Because it's just taking a little while. We're turning down to 18. And boom. I'm also in the Faithful 32 pack. And wow, out of all biomes we spawned in, we spawned in a snow biome. Um... I don't really like snow biomes, to be quite honest, because, I, they, I don't know, snow biomes just look really, really ugly. Um, you know what, um, let me create another world, because I really don't like snow, and I don't feel like going to go look for another biome. So yeah, I will be right back. Okay, so, um, we are in a new world, and I think I found a world that I'm actually happy with. So, this is a pretty cool place to uh, build a base. It's got the hardened clay, and it's pretty much a mountain of hardened clay. So, what's this biome actually called? This is a RWG underscore hot desert biome. Okay, um, so yeah, basically what this pack is about is taking yourself out of your comfort zone and trying to mess with new mods. And then hopefully, um, the, some of the mods that are in this pack become mainstream and p come in other packs. Um, I know for a fact there's RF generation mods, as I said before. There's the RF generators that make you make custom generators. Whoa, some super block lag. You guys see that? Wow. Okay. Man, those fireworks are like super loud. I'm pretty sure, it's, hopefully it's just in my headset. Oh, oh yeah, we don't have tinkers. That's, those are super freaking loud. Uh, will this be ambient environment, or will this be blocks? Okay. So, yeah, as you guys can see, I just tried to make a Tinker's tool, um, Tinker's crafting station, which, as I said before, it's not in this pack. And also, I, I do want to get into some mechanism. It probably won't be this episode. It's probably just an introduction introduction to the pack. I'm probably going to make, like, a base and then just go mining off camera. So, um, make sure, if you guys really do want to see, see a series... Make sure to go hit that thumbs up button. It really tells me, it really gives me a lot of feedback on what you guys really think about the packs. So this is going to be a replacement to my modded pack, by the way. Because I can only do so many series at one time. And I think it would be better if I 
if you guys can see that flickering texture, it's because of Optifine. But I think it'll be better if I do more of a mainstream mod pack. It's not just I'm doing this for growth or views or anything. It's just it looks like a really cool pack, and you guys have asked for it. And the thing about doing a big pack, yes, it does help me grow, too. And it really, the more I grow, the more I get encouraged to do videos. So, yeah. Um, so, like I said, I'm not doing this just for growth, but I'm also doing this because it was requested. So, yeah, um, we are going to do a series on this, and I think it's going to be a really, really cool pack. I finally get out my comfort zone. I've also um, gotten the Blood Magic on the Gray and Skies, and I think I'm going to start doing that mod a lot more. I, that's a really fun mod. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the mods that are actually in here. Let's see. Let's do mod. Oh, there you are. We got Advanced Generators, AMT Generators, Ancient Trees, another one by the Dust, which is compatibility with Mechanism Dust. Apple milk and tea, which looks like what is this? Um, I really don't know what that is. Uh, Aura Cascade, which I think is an add-on for I can't remember what add-on this was for. Um, let's see, Auto Packager, which is usually in Skyblock Bobble, Bobbles, uh, Blood Arsenal, which is an add-on to Blood Magic, Blood Magic. The reason why this is here, even though this is a mainstream mod, is to get these other, this one and Sago Mint seem more popular. Blue Power, which is another version of Red Power, Carpenter's Blocks. I don't see why it's in there. It's actually a pretty popular mod. Same thing for Chisel. Uh, we have Chicken Chunks, which is Chunk Loaders. We have the Clockwork Phase. We have com Computertronics, Decocraft, Dense Ores, Ender Storage, Engineer's Toolbox. Uh, oh, if Equivalent Exchange is finally done. We really need to get into that as well. Essential Craft 3. We have extra utilities. I really don't know why this is in here. Um, Flax Bear Steam Powder. That's, that's one I added in my mod pack that um, I think the Redstone Mechanic suggested, so we'll probably get into that as well. Floodlights, Forge Micro Blocks as usual. Frames, Galactic Craft, uh, Garden, Gas Craft. Gas Craft, I really do hate this mod, I'm going to be honest with you. Especially back in Feed of Beast Monster. This was in Feed of Beast Monster, by the way. You'd go mining and gas just come out of nowhere and you'd like freaking die. I really don't like Gas Craft. Be honest with you. Head crumbs, eye bench, iron backpacks. Let blocks love live. Okay, yeah. Mag what? Magnum Magnum whatever. Tools. Metal stores, mantle, matter overdrive, mechanism, mechanism generators, mechanism tools. Mmm. Minecraft is also a mod, not really. Module armor, obsidian plates. Open modular turrets, open computers, open blocks, open peripheral, particle physics, progressive automation, community live, quantum flux, quiver bow, random things, red stonic, uh, let's see, refined relocation, RF windmills, RF tools, router reborn, sanguinity, sanguine utilities, um, uh, silicio, Simple condenser, soul shards always. I really do want to get into that. Storage drawers, that's another cool storage mod. Um, streams, which I don't really get the point, but okay. Uh, thermal foundation, XP teleporters, and Z tones. So yeah, guys, I really do think it's gonna be a really fun series. Um, this is for those who don't know, Feedy Beast is uh, putting out monthly mod packs. Here, let's actually find a place to put a base. Um, last month was Feed the Beast Departed, which had the mod of the month, which was obviously Advent of Ascension. The reason why I didn't do Feed the Beast Departed is because I, it, it's, it's not that Advent of Ascension is a bad mod, but as a person making YouTube videos on a daily basis, putting out videos for that series would be kind of hard. Um, let's see, where are we going to put our base? I think we're just going to start off with a, like a mini base. Somewhere down here, and I'll probably build into a mountain or something off camera. It looks like a, there's a cave or something down here. Uh, no. Well, there is a cave, but it's not with stone. Okay. But yeah, having of Ascension, it's a really cool mod. Don't get me wrong. It's awesome. It's just, it'll be really hard to do when you're trying to make YouTube videos on a daily basis. Uh, because I record, I try to record these in a few days in advance. I'm recording this on Monday, which this video goes out tomorrow. But, um, I have other series like Ark, Rust... And speaking of Russ, I haven't released that in a few days because I have, I just, <sighs> why can't I stop yawning? What is wrong with me? I just haven't been on while the guys were on, and usually the guys have already recorded. I think they just recorded a video today. I was a bit too late for that one, but, um, 
we'll figure something out. Um, this looks like a decent place to mine. It's got a cyan stained clay. Also, I am using Faithful32. Link is in the description below. If any of you are interested in that, if not, it's perfectly fine. I completely understand. Really great texture pack, if you ask me. Um, I would have run Sfats, but I don't know. Really, throw all your hate at me if you like, but I kind of like Faithful more than Sfats, even though Sfats is a really nice texture pack. So don't get me wrong on that. Um, it looks like this thing's hardened clay all the way to the bottom, so it's not a perfect place to mine. So, actually, w what I'm gonna do, guys, um, this is kind of a first look video. Also, look at the terrain generation. This is really nice. Um, let's go into creative real quick, so I can do a little flyover. And it's, this is this is why I really like the realistic alpha mod for terrain generation. This is really freaking awesome. I mean, look at this. Look at it. Oh, I have Optifine. I can't do the flying fast thing. Uh, let's go ahead and get back down here to where we were. And slash game mode S. I'm pretty sure I was here. I was right here, right? I think. I think I was somewhere over here. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, because I'm mine right there. So what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to go ahead and end the video here. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments about um, starting a series on this because your feedback is really important because, you know, I mean, without you guys giving me feedback, I don't know what to record. I don't know what you guys like. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit like, and I will see you guys next time. Also, off camera, I'm going to build a base. So, yeah, if you guys like to see more, then please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.